What's up everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here. The BlackBerry Z10 is starting to hit US carriers and we've got it all dolled up in Verizon's 4G LTE colors. Let's go ahead, dig in, take a look and see what your Verizon Z10 is gonna have when you pick it up in stores now. All right, so the box is relatively nondescript. Verizon at the top, BlackBerry logo down below, little Z10 emboss action, what's in the box. But of course, we'll run through all that, and that's about it. We will ceremoniously take off the sleeve. Boom. Uh, nothing really different about the Verizon version versus the unlocked or the GSM side, uh, but I'll remind you of what all the specs are here in just a moment. Take the phone out. Our version is all done up in white. Actually, I haven't seen the white version yet, so that's kind of cool. Um, so there is the phone. I'll start the power up process since it can be a bit long uh, with the Z10. And of course, we'll walk through all the software stuff in just a moment. Let's see if it's got enough juice to power on. There it goes. Uh, so what are you gonna get in the box? You are going to get a 4G LT SIM card. You're gonna get some start here information. You're gonna get this guy letting you know it's using a Snapdragon processor. Got a wall wart and a cable, and that is it. No headphones to be found in that box at all. Push all that stuff off to the side, and here is what you are here to see, the BlackBerry Z10. So it's gonna be available for 199 bucks, but of course that price is always subject to change, so check with Verizon before you pick it up. Uh, from a dimension standpoint, in case you forgot, it's identical to the GSM side, uh, 5.12 by 2.58 by a pretty thin 0.35, and it weighs 4.93 ounces. It's got a 4.2 inch display, uh, which is not bad. It's not giant, but it is a 720p display. Uh, 1800 milliamp hour battery, 1.5 gigahertz dual core Snapdragon chip, 2 gigs of RAM, 16 gigs of storage, plus micro SD, 8 megapixel camera on the back, plus 1080p video, 2 megapixel shooter on the front, but that can also shoot 720p. We've got Verizon's LTE service here, uh, Bluetooth 4.0, and NFC. That was a mouthful. All right, so here is the white version. Interestingly enough, the white, while not being a, the same backing as, of course, the black one, uh, also feels different. So the black one has a bit of a soft touch, almost fake rubber feel to it. Uh, the white one has more of a plastic feel to it. They're both textured, though. So keep that in mind as you pick which color you want. Uh, personally, I like the way the white looks, but I like the way the black feels. So you're going to have to decide there. Uh, but other than that, they look almost identical. So push that off to the side. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the settings and see what software version this guy is running. We'll jump on into settings. Try that one more time, jump on into settings, and let's check out the OS, the hardware, and the rest of that information. Uh, so you can see what software release is running. It's running 10.0.9.422. Go ahead and go back. Uh, let's do a real quick size comparison here. We will bring in the 4.7 inch uh, HTC One. Again, this is a 4.2 inch screen here on the Z10. They look like big brother, little brother. Uh, certainly those design are very reminiscent of each other. Uh, you can see what they look like from a thickness standpoint. Uh, let's also bring in an iPhone 5, so a 4 inch screen on the iPhone versus the 4.2 on the Z10. See what those guys look like. And certainly the iPhone 5 was definitely one of the thinner smartphones in its day, but not really a title it can hold on to anymore. The Z10 definitely uh, feels really good and is an extremely thin device. So go ahead and go back up. Uh, let's see what Verizon specific apps are included in here and what apps are on. So we've got Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Foursquare. Pretty much all the majors except for uh, Instagram on here. Uh, so you got My Verizon Mobile, Mobile uh, Backup Plus for all your contact backing up, smart tags included, games, and that really looks it for uh, Verizon branding, which is quite nice. Uh, this is a global ready phone, so it'll work on GSM uh, networks wherever you might be. Other than that though, it's pretty standard uh, Z10. We've got a charging and micro HDMI on the side. On the top in the middle, we've got your power and lock button, 3.5 millimeter headset jack, and you've got a noise canceling mic volume up or down, and a mute or stop button, depending on what you want to do. Of course, the back is still removable, so go ahead and pull this out. Boom, and this is where the battery is going to live. It's the LS1. Uh, let's check, see if we can check the uh, milliamp hours on without pulling it out. Uh, all right, we'll do a battery pull here and tell you guys what uh, milliamp hours we're looking at. 
Uh, it is an 1800 milliamp hour affair. It's where your micro SIM cards are going to live. And if you want to do expandable storage, you can pop that sucker in right there. Um, so of course we will test this guy and let you know how it performs. Anything different we need to note over our previous review that we did of the Z10, uh, we'll go ahead and augment that review. The link is going to be down below. And then there is the NFC antenna. So what do you guys think? You excited about the Z10 on Verizon? Is the phone you've been waiting for all the BlackBerry faithful? We love to hear from you, white or black. We also want to hear which color choice is best going to suit you. Give this video a thumbs up. We definitely appreciate it. Uh, I am John Ranger from Techno Buffalo, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.